Alright, welcome back here folks. Well, I guess welcome to the new lesson here. We're talking about um, the power of exponential growth. Okay, so we've got two equipment rental companies and they have different penalty policies for returning a piece of equipment late. Okay, um, company one has this policy right here. On day one, the penalty is $5. On day two, the penalty is $10. On day three, the penalty is $15. On day four, the penalty is $20. And so on, increasing by $5 each day the equipment is late. Okay, um, on co and then company two, right here, on day one, the penalty is one cent. On day two, the penalty is two cents. On day three, the penalty is four cents. On day four, the penalty is eight cents, and so on, doubling in amount each additional day late. Jim rented a digger from company two because he thought it had the better late return policy. The job he was doing with the digger took longer than he expected, but it did not concern him because the late penalty seemed so reasonable. When he returned the digger 15 days late, he was shocked by the penalty fee. What did he pay, and what would he have paid if he had used company one instead? <clears throat> so, go ahead and fill in these tables here. Remember that for company one, we know that it starts on um, five dollars on day one, ten dollars on day two, um, fifteen dollars on day three, so on and so forth, adding five each time. So fill in that table right here on the left, and then also for company two, go ahead and start with one cent penalty fee on day one, two cent penalty fee on day two, four cents on day three, so on and so forth, doubling every day up to fifteen days. Okay, so go ahead and fill that out, um, you know, just using the patterns there. <clears throat> okay, so I actually have it pre-filled out here. Let's see if I can get it to show up the way I want it to here. Got to get rid of those, and voila, there's company one, and there's company two. Okay, so you can see here, um, you know, what happens, right? So we're adding five every time here, but then here we double every time. Okay, you can see that by the end, $75 would be the 15 day late fee there. $163.84 is going to be the late fee for there. <clears throat> so, which company has a greater 15 day late charge? Well, what company is it? Company two. Okay. Describe how the amount of the late charge changes from any given day to the next successive day in both companies one and two. So, how did the late charges change in company one? Well, scroll back up if you need to there, right? But we're just adding $5 to the late fee for each additional day late. And then company two, what's its policy? Well, the late fee doubles <clears throat> every additional day late okay how much would the late charge have been after 20 days under company 2 so remember day 15 and amount here Okay, so day 15 was 163.84. So we want to figure out 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so you can go ahead and fill the rest of this out, right? Figure out what it's going to be after 20 days. Six, eight, whoops. Okay, and then times two again for the next day. $655.36 times two again, 1,310.72 times two again, <clears throat> 2,621.44 times two again, 5,242.88. At this point, you might be talking about paying a late fee that's more than the actual object in the first place. Okay, which is a situation that some people get themselves into with like credit card debt and stuff like that. So, there's our answer. <clears throat> Alright, in the next um, video we'll take a clear look here at example one.